everybody and welcome back to UAW Video Game Wrestling Championship Tournament. In today's episode we will see Alberto Del Rio versus Real Life Foe Triple H, the COO of the WWE making an appearance here in the UAW. And folks this will take place in a Hell in the Cell match. And now, entering the ring, this is Alberto Del Rio! I've always wanted to do that. Alberto Del Rio here coming out to the ring, making a special appearance here in the UAW, looking stronger than ever. Ready to go up against his real life foe Triple H here. And coming out to the ring now, the Cerebral Assassin, the King of Kings, Triple H. Folks, Triple H looks ready to go here. More determined than I've ever seen him. Ready here, making an appearance here in the UAW, taking his breaks from his COO duties of the WWE to make an appearance here in the UAW to take on his real life foe Alberto Del Rio in a Hell in the Cell match. This is the second time that we've seen a Hell in the Cell in this tournament. We gotta wonder how Triple H will fare in this against Del Rio. Will his aggression versus Del Rio help him, or will it hurt him? But we're about to find out because this matchup is underway, folks. Oh, and Alberto Del Rio with a headlock. Irish whip into the corner. Del Rio trying to gain some offense here and a step up in Seguri. Del Rio with the overhead throw. The forearm to the back of the head. And a double stomp right to the gut of Triple H. What aggression from Del Rio, but a DDT from Triple H. Here, folks. Trying to gain offense, but Triple H reversed it. Triple H with a kick to the head. H picks him up. They lock up here in the middle of the ring. Triple H holding the arm. And a body slam from Triple H. Just slamming him to the mat there. Oh, punching the face of Del Rio. And a headlock from Triple H. Oh, and a knee to the gut. And a kick right to the gut. Del Rio tried to throw Triple H out here, but Triple H reversed it. Triple H not looking to go outside the ring yet. Oh, and a backbreaker right over the knee. Mounting him hitting him with those vicious forearms oh and just a stiff right from Triple H and a kick to the gut while he's down just to prove that he's better and a kick to the back of the knee and a just punching him in the face and a DDT for good measure and again just a battery of punches to the face while Del Rio is down and a spine buster from Triple H. Triple H going for the pin here. A kick out from that two from Del Rio. Oh, and a close line. And another close line. Del Rio trying to come back here. Oh, and an Argentine backbreaker. With a backstabber from Del Rio to Triple H. The man has a family, damn it! And only a one count! Looked like Del Rio might have been going for the armbar there, but Triple H reversed it. Well, look at this, Triple H setting up for it. Can he hit it? The pedigree! Is it over, folks? I'm calling it, it's over! And then a three count. Triple H moves on in the tournament.
Triple H celebrating his victory, moving on to the next round of the tournament. And our next match here in the UAW Video Game Championship Tournament is Chris Jericho versus Hideo Itami. And this match is to be contested under extreme rules. And coming out to the ring, he is the Mr. Y2J. He is the Lion Tamer. He is the leader of the Alpha Club. This is cur the current IWGP Intercontinental Champion, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho making a rare appearance here in the UAW arena. Our boss here spared no expense in this tournament, bringing out some of the biggest superstars from all around. Chris Jericho looks ready to go here. The fans are wild tonight for Chris Jericho. And coming out to the ring, he has one of the be been called one of the best cruiserweights around. This is Hideo Itame. Hideo Itame. One of Japan's greatest exports here into the U.S., I believe. Coming out to the ring, making a special appearance here in the UAW tournament. But can he beat Chris Jericho and move on? We will find out. And it looks like we're going to find out now, folks, because this match is underway. Chris Jericho and Hideo Itami locking up in the middle of the ring. Hideo with the first bit of offense and just an overhead throw and a forearm to the back of the net. Kick to the gut from Hideo. Oh! And a fireman's carry suplex there. And a drop kick to the side of the head of Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho coming back here with a headlock. Oh, and just a headbutt. And a spike DDT. Chris Jericho mounting some offense here, folks. Chris Jericho with a. Fireman's carry suplex of his own. Back of the knee. And the time tripping Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho with a kick to the gut. Both of these men are so talented, folks. Both have held championships all over the world. Hideo went for a suplex. Chris Jericho reversed it. With a suplex of his own. Chris Jericho just punching Hideo in the back of the head. And a vicious neck breaker. And a chop right to the chest and a drop kick of, for, of his own from Chris Jericho. Oh, Jericho's looking to get to the toys. He's getting out a ladder. Why would he be getting out a ladder? This ain't a ladder match. Oh, but he kicks Hideo on the gut. And a neckbreaker out on the concrete floor, folks. That is solid concrete here in the UAW arena. No padding on that floor whatsoever. Oh! Just a wonderful takedown from Chris Jericho there. Throwing him back into the ring. Oh, just punching him while he's down and then a kick to the side of the head. Jericho's going back under the ring. He looks like he's going to get a baseball bat. Oh, just flinging that chair and hitting Hideo with the baseball bat in the process. Right to the head of Hideo. Oh, and then to the back. To the lower back there with the baseball bat. Jericho looking for a code breaker on the outside of the ring. I can't do anything. This isn't the false count anywhere match, but it can wear his opponent down. Hideo looks like he's in trouble here. The walls of Jericho locked in on Hideo outside the ring. Chris Jericho let him out there. And then just a punch to the face and a kick to the gut. Flinging him right into that serrated steel post. 
What is Hideo doing here? Oh, with the over-the-head German suplex. Dale looking to get something out from under the ring now. What does he got? Oh, he got nothing. Chris Jericho took him out before he could get something out from under the ring. And a spike DDT from Hideo. Hideo Tommy whipping Chris Jericho right back into the ring. Chris Jericho's head laying on that bottom rope. Oh! And a kick to the side of the head. Oh, and Chris Jericho with a reversal. Code breaker to Hideo! Chris going for the cover. Could that be it? And there is your winner, folks. Y2J Chris Jericho has done it again. Chris Jericho just celebrating his victory as cockily as he always does. And the final match here in the UAW Video Game Wrestling Championship Tournament first round to determine who will go on to face Chris Jericho is Dean Ambrose versus the man who's got kids, Heath Slater. will be a two out of three falls no disqualification falls count anywhere match and coming out to the ring making his first UAW appearance this is the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose yeah, Ambrose looking strong here tonight folks just determined but will Dean Ambrose's determination help him against the man who has kids? Heath Slater! Heath Slater just looking like he's ready to come out and win this match tonight for his kids. And this matchup is underway, folks. The two out of three falls. Falls count anywhere match. Oh, and a knee to the gut from Ambrose. A kick to the gut. Ambrose working on that lower gut area of Heath Slater. And a knee to the side of the head from Heath Slater. To locking up right here. Ambrose looking to gain some offense. Irish whip into the corner. He fell hard there. Ambrose grabs him by the leg. Just... Plowing his leg right into the mat there. That had to hurt. Slater with a reversal. Slater with a kick to the gut of his own. Slater trying to mount some offense here. Oh, and a leg drop to the arm. And a flapjack. Sending Ambrose face first into the mat here. And another flapjack from Heath Slater to run into each other here in the middle of the ring. And Ambrose with a body slam. Ambrose is a former WWE Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, and WWE Champion, as well as Tag Team Champion, which is something Slater knows about because Slater's been Tag Team Champions a couple times in his own right. And a kick to the face from Ambrose. This is going for another one and another kick right to the face. Ambrose is not afraid to get extreme. That's why we call him the Lunatic Fringe. He's Slater fighting back here, and Ambrose with a Lunatic Lariat. And it's with the guitar over the gut. Right to the back of the head of Slater. Right to the back. That cannot feel good, folks. Oh, and a low blow from Heath Slater. Heath Slater with a clear low blow, but this is no disqualification. And Ambrose does not appear affected at all. And a stunner on the ropes. Heath Slater exiting out of the other side of the ring. He's clearing off the announce table. Heath Slater getting a weapon from the other side of the ring, though. And the referee knocks him down on his way out. Gotta wonder if the referee hadn't done that, would Heath be 
having a weapon in his hands right now. Descending Dean Ambrose's face onto the concrete there. Slater back under the ring. What's he getting out here? He's getting out a table. Slater getting out a table and Ambrose sending him back into the ring. Ambrose back into the ring himself. Mind games from Heath Slater there. And a flying forearm from Heath. Just direct blows and a roundhouse kick to the face of Ambrose. All of this happening out here on the concrete floor. Oh! Ambrose fell hard onto that concrete. Ambrose fighting back. Dirty deeds on the concrete floor! You gotta think that that... Ambrose with the first fall here. He's the ring. And I just a forearm right to the face of Ambrose. Slater with a trash can, but isn't able to use it because Ambrose knocks it out of his hands. And another forearm from Slater. What is Slater doing here? Keeps trying to back up, but he can't. Oh, and just a missed uh, clothesline from Ambrose there. And just a melee just from Slater. So looks like Slater was setting up for maybe a back suplex there on the floor. And Ambrose with a forearm to the face. And a flat check out there on the concrete floor. That had to hurt. Oh! What a wonderful takedown from Slater on the concrete floor, too. On oh, Slater went for the cover, but got a near fall. Ambrose has the trash can and throws it out of the way. Slater with a spike DDT on the concrete. Can that be it for this fall? And Slater gets a fall on Ambrose. The next person to get a fall wins the match here tonight, folks, and moves on in the tournament. And a drop kick to the back of Slater. Or the back of Ambrose, sorry. And then a clothesline from Ambrose. Ambrose looking for a weapon of his own. He gets out a kendo stick, and then it just throws it at Slater. And a forearm from Slater. Oh, and just a kick to the lower back of Ambrose. A side rush and leg sweep there. These two fighting hard. Ambrose with a roll up on the outside of the ring. Will this get the final pin? No, a near fall from Ambrose. Ambrose picking up the kendo stick and wrapping it right across the forehead of Heath Slater and just melee to the back and leg of Slater. That is going to hurt later, folks. But Slater with a reverse on a big boot. Now Slater's got the kendo stick. Oh, and went to wrap it around Ambrose's back. And Ambrose ran right into it. Face first into the kendo stick. And now Slater with just a battery of hits from that kendo stick. This is going for the pinfall. Referee one. Two. Referee only gets to two. Ambrose with a suplex right onto the kendo stick. My god, that had to hurt. Ambrose looking for it again. Can he hit it? Dirty deeds on the outside of the ring. One, two, three. And your winner, folks. The final winner of the first round of the UAW Championship. Before the storming Fighting my nails at a